of also one of my favorite cars when it comes to looks the BMW, BMW M6 GT3 and it's a bit more of an older car it's it came out in 2017 it's still in use today uh, won plenty of races but will be replaced next year by the new M4 version um, the BMW M6 already out of production as a road car and I love the lines it's it's a big saloon car uh, but but it, it has such an aggressive look to it very nice very cool um, again a front engine car what I like about it is its uh, raw power that it that it breathes that it exhibits um, what I don't like is um, its its brake distance seems to be a lot worse than for other cars and despite that it's a front engine car it can't handle curbs very well it almost behaves as a mid engine car when it comes to curbs um, so you have to expect that nothing more than that it's a quick car it's a very sturdy basic fast car so let's take it on a lap a body car body car being the circuit where we can test both top speed as slow corner and mid corner drivability taking the default aggressive setup as a comparison for, for as far as that can be used as a comparison of course green line, green line. Go, go, go. What notice this is also again a somewhat older dashboard compared with the newer GT4 free cars um, side mirrors well the right side mirror is hardly usable the left one is and of course the big rear mirror it's powered by a 4.4 liter twin turbo v8 and it has a nice ring to it it's a bit timid compared to the other cars but it still exhibits a form of power so let's get cracked I also like in the engine note this when you release the throttle groove plopping a lot of drivetrain and uh, well, afterburning in the exhausts. It's a nice note. Slow corner. Likes to understeer. As can be expected from any big full engine car. You see a bit of rumbling when I went over that curb in the middle, a bit the intersection of the corner. It doesn't like curves as much. And take on a, a bit too high curb and it'll spin out very quickly. Snap out of it. Hey, it's fast. 280, 297. 279, sorry. Oh, my native language. It feels big. It feels not that it's lumbering or anything. But it feels sturdy, big. And here's that brake distance. Braking at the same distance as I'm used to. But here it goes on beyond, beyond that point. So maybe there's something that, that can be done in setup, of course, I don't know. But based on the default aggressive setup, I find its braking distance to be worse than the average car. Good acceleration, good speed. Mm. 
And it has won plenty of races. I also think it won. Not sure now. The 24 hours of uh, the Nürburgring, which is actually held this weekend. And this weekend the new M4 is presented there and being raced for the very first time. But last year it was a distinct thing within the GTV community with all the COVID and Corona measures and races being postponed or without uh, any people there to watch it. The older M6 still won races. from the outside and that lap a bit on a, of an undertone when you compare it to the other V8 cars that have much more a growl of a roar in them this, this also sounds almost uh, sounds timid the sounds are everything the power is there the plopping and the drive train noises when you release the throttle is a nice addition to this engine sounds can make a game like the like they can a movie so sounds are important so the wobble across the curve stone those long sleek lines it's quite a long car maybe even longer than the Boatley Bentley All in all, a very nice, very stable car. And, uh, well, I like front engine cars the most in this sim. Just my handling, just my own driving style that suits them the most. So, this is definitely a car that I like driving as well. Just not the braking distance, that seems to be a bit too much. And back over straight finish. Very nice, very cool car. Um, can't say anything bad about it except the drive, the the brake distance. Um, yeah, that's it basically. Um, yeah, yeah, nothing more to say. Very cool car, the BMW GT3. Uh, M6. Thanks for watching and I'll join you soon with another car impression.